In recent news, Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats finally unloaded their mansion in Phoenix, Arizona for $3.1 million after being on the market for more than five years. The luxury desert getaway spanned over 7,000 square feet of space and offered walls of glass with panoramic views of the canyons. Since 2019, the power couple has called La Jolla, California home, where they dwell in a modern cliffside mansion called Razor House that cost them over $20 million. Today we'll check out a couple of Alicia and Swizz's homes, we even found the listings. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Alicia Keys is a singer, songwriter and classically trained pianist who began composing songs at the young age of 12. She was signed with a huge record label by age 15 and then later released her debut album in 2001 which was a success. Not only did it sell over 12 million copies, it earned Alicia 5 Grammy Awards in 2002 alone. As for her husband Swizz Beats, he's best known for being a powerhouse music producer and making songs for the likes of Kanye West, Beyonce and much more. He's also a rapper, entrepreneur and more. Either way, the successful couple has amassed a whopping net worth of about $150 million or more. Alicia and Swizz purchased their incredible mansion back in 2019, which is a one-of-a-kind architectural masterpiece, and they've also owned homes in Arizona, New York City, New Jersey, and more. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out where Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats call home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. <laughs> Earlier this summer, it was reported that Alicia and Swizz finally found a buyer for their home located in Phoenix, Arizona after it was on the market for over 5 years. Unfortunately, the couple sold it for $3.1 million which was quite a bit less than their original $3.85 million asking price. Not to mention, it shows they purchased it for $3.9 million over 13 years ago. This luxury desert getaway was built in 2001 and sits on a lot spanning nearly an acre, featuring views of the canyons surrounding it. The home was nestled up in the red rocks of Camelback Mountain and you could see Echo Canyon, Squaw Peak, Mummy Mountain and more from the property. Swizz and Alicia's house was a three level contemporary villa and inside the abode you'll find 7,000 square feet of space along with 4 beds and 5.5 baths. Considering the size of the place, there was also an elevator for convenience that ran right from the garage servicing all levels. Their mansion had thick stone columns out front and the glass front door opened up into a long entryway with stone tiled floor and water feature built into the wall. There was an airy formal living room that had a 20 foot high curved wall of glass and a piano where I'm sure Alicia has played plenty of her hits. Nearby there was also a formal dining room with glass table and sparkling chandelier overhead. Most of the residents offered floor to ceiling glass showing off the mountains and canyons and there was another combined great room area with soaring ceilings. Here there was a family room with TV, fireplace and wall of windows as well as a chef's kitchen with two islands, bar style seats and a breakfast nook. Of course Alicia and Swizz also knew how to entertain as their mansion boasted a games room full of bonuses. There was a pool table, wet bar, retro jukebox and video games, not to mention access to the swimming pool. Other features within this Phoenix mansion included a screening room with wet bar, 800 bottle wine cellar and a home gym. While each of the guest rooms were spacious and had their own private baths, Alicia and Swizz's master suite was massive and definitely the best of all. Located at the top level of the mansion, the couple's former retreat boasted another piano in the middle of the space where Alicia could play some tunes in private, positioned between the massive sitting area and the bedroom area. The suite was decked out with a round bed, floor to ceiling windows, a balcony, attached bath and a walk-in closet. Most of the rooms in the home opened up to a wrap around two level terrace and the grounds of the property which hosted an infinity pool and spa. Of course, all of this overlooked the sweeping valley and Arizona mountain views. Back in September 2019, Alicia and Suez bought their current mansion in the San Diego area for a whopping $20.8 million. 
This house is a one-of-a-kind architectural masterpiece known as the Razor House, named after Razor Point, as it's perched on a cliff's edge over the Pacific Ocean. Located in La Jolla, which is about 20 minutes from San Diego, the couple's unique abode is said to be the inspiration behind Tony Stark's Malibu dwelling in the Marvel Iron Man films. Not to mention the property was featured in Visa Black Card and Calvin Klein commercials. Built in 2007 and designed by AD100 architect Wallace E. Cunningham, the three-level home appears to hang right off of the cliff. In fact, the 0.77-acre hillside lot is steep and modestly sized, which caused it to be written off by several developers in the past. In 2011, the estate transferred for $14 million in a bankruptcy sale to Florida-based entrepreneur Donald Burns, who added finishing touches and maintained this beautiful home throughout the eight years he lived here. While Alicia and Swiss own other properties, this incredible spot is said to be their main home. The three-level main home spans a massive 10,653 square feet of space with six bedrooms and 6.5 baths, with almost every room in the mansion opening up to stunning views. Elsewhere on the property, there's also a guest house. There are plenty of living spaces with floor-to-ceiling glass and minimalistic furnishings to make the most of the surroundings, as well as sleek built-in fireplaces and mounted TVs. Two of the bedrooms in Alicia and Swizz's home are master suites with ocean views through more full walls of curved glass. The master suite boasts showers and freestanding tubs, as well as walk-in closets. Elsewhere in the mansion, there's a two-story, all-glass sitting room connected with a curved floating staircase, a den, and a library with custom-made Ralph Lauren pool table. The kitchen has high-end appliances and plenty of space to cook and entertain like you might expect, and if that's not enough, the home has amenities like a movie theater, fully equipped home gym, two steam rooms, and a rooftop spa. There's also an all-glass elevator to get around from floor to floor. White concrete, stainless steel, and glass are used in the cantilever design of the modern residence, and the couple has amazing panoramic views of the ocean and surroundings all over. In fact, nearly every wall in their home is glass, while the floors are mostly stone. Outside, the mansion has plenty of concrete terraces to kick back, one with a fire pit and the space on the roof boasts an outdoor kitchen alongside the spa. The grounds also have a built-in outdoor barbecue, and what's gotta be one of the most impressive features, the extra-long infinity pool hanging over the cliff's edge. The detached multi-level guest house spans about 1,300 square feet with two beds and two baths, each with separate entryways on different floors. So now we've checked out two of power couple Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats' home, including their main mansion in California and the Lux Desert estate they sold in Arizona. Currently, the pair maintains beautiful homes on both the east and west coast. Aside from their ultra-modern main mansion in San Diego, in Englewood, New Jersey, they have a 4.5-acre compound they bought for a total of $18.1 million off of Eddie Murphy, and they also used to own an impressive penthouse in Manhattan. After taking a look at both the Arizona mansion the couple sold at a loss, as well as their impressive cliffside razor house, did you guys have a favorite? While the razor house mansion is impressive, it's a bit too ultra modern for my taste and looks like more of a museum than a family home. I prefer something more classic and traditional. I think I like the Arizona mansion better because it was a desert paradise but looked a little bit more livable than the other spa. Still, it had amazing soaring ceilings, walls of glass, and an impressive pool. Be sure to tell me which of Alicia and Swizz's properties was your favorite and why in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!